when you need to receive more light. Not all of us are always superheroes. Sometimes we too get a little banged up. And in these times, are you brave enough to ask for and get help yourself? You are never bereft of help, but you do have to seek it out and you will find it. Part of being on a spiritual path is recognizing when it's time to do some healing work. We feel lonely, depressed, or angry about some exterior outcome or event. Things seem to be happening to us as opposed to happening for us. But all things on your pathway are for your benefit. It could not be any other way. We are riding along on the pathway of life and things are going swimmingly and we receive beautiful ideas and we continue to rise up. Our inspirations are guiding us and we seek to go higher, grow bigger. Then what can happen? Bang! The unexpected hits you sideways and you wonder, what happened? This is a quote I received in my journal. As you move higher and upward in your mind, with your mind, what is projected has to change. It has to keep up with what you're programming through full creation directed by your will so that all energies and frequencies within you come into alignment with where you are going and what you are creating. Becoming your truest self means letting go of what no longer serves you. And if outside triggers are what will bring forward these old feelings and memories, which have built beliefs, albeit subconscious still, they become conscious enough so as to reach the light. This is what you want. Believe me, this is what you want. I channel every day in my journal together with spirit to get the answers I'm seeking for my life. As you can see, these direct responses to what I'm asking about are always really clear and full of loving guidance. In this particular passage, we are shown that we often don't realize we have these hidden subconscious beliefs that need to be transformed until we choose to go higher. Many of you on my list are healers of sorts, but who do you trust to go to to heal yourselves? Many times it is appropriate to do your own work, and sometimes it's simply easier to discuss these projections and where they come from with a professional. God put healers and teachers on earth to help others with their path as they heal themselves but we are not bereft of assistance ourselves. You must want to accept assistance and then follow the guidance on your pathway to lead you to the right source for that assistance. I don't often tell people what I have to offer by way of sessions or packages, but Spirit has been seriously yelling in my ear to do so. Why don't I? It's uncomfortable, I guess. It's such private and very sacred work, in my opinion, which is totally and utterly ridiculous. And that's all being eliminated. I implore you to do the same with your work if you are a healer and or a teacher as well. We need to come out into the light ourselves. If you are in a spot and need someone to talk to and work with in a private, confidential setting that is totally respectful of your full nature, I am here. It's what I do. It's what God put me on earth for at this time. Here's a little package below you can explore, and you can find the link in the description. It's called the Premium Light Attunements. And I invite you to have your own fears eradicated. You can't battle fear out of fear of it. The only thing that casts away darkness is light. The light of clarity. The light of peace and joy and tranquility. The light of letting go and releasing all old and cruddy belief systems that are hurting you into the wind, into the light. 
and my gift, given to me by something much greater than I, is to offer it to you in assistance for your path. See the link for premium light attunements in the description. In premium light attunements, together with another offer called the Big Kahuna, are 30-day packages where you and I can stay in touch while this transformation occurs. It starts with a questionnaire so we can see what's going on, and then a healing session. You get to choose the length and frequency if you like, and then there are follow-up conversations we can have on the phone to keep you elevated and experiencing the highest frequency of what you truly already are. We also want to make sure there isn't any slippage meaning you don't fall back into comfortable old habits simply because that's what you've always been holding on to. You know what I mean? We've all been there. And just checking in alone provides for the impetus to stay up there. Quote, no one who heals, heals alone. And that's from A Course in Miracles. Remember that we are all one. And as you heal, you assist others in doing the same. That same element of fear, of self-doubt, of dread of coming out and into the light is the same dread and fear that so many in the world are suffering from. Have you ever had the desire to heal the world? Your only option, my dear, is to heal yourself first. Fill out an application at the link in the description. Much love and many blessings, Suzanne.